Hi friends, happy Magical Monday. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today, lovey subbies? Welcome to the Sally Hearts Jack 80 show. It is time for a brand new week of fabulous adventures. Although it's going to be a short week, it's only going to be a two day. Monday and Tuesday are the only days I'm going to do shows this week because the rest of the week I'm going to be doing things with my family. So I will not be doing a full week of shows, but... I hope you will um, stay tuned for today's show and tomorrow's. So how was your weekend? Did you have a good time? Were you super, super busy? Did you enjoy the weather? Maybe it's cool where you live or maybe it's a little bit warmer. Um, it has been really nice around here. I got to say I love the weather. It's been quite chilly and I've kind of loved the chill. I like it when it's um, sunny out, but it's still nice and breezy and cool and you can live in it and it's not a billion degrees and you're sweating. So it's been really, really cool. My past weekend, I, um, went to, uh, my favorite, I went to a few places. I went to my favorite antique, uh, stop and found a couple cuties that I'm going to share with you, um, on tomorrow's show. And I also went to Kohl's, believe it or not, and got something because we all know how much I love Kohl's. <laughs> um, and um, I also went to Target and picked up something. So it was kind of um, nothing super, super exciting about the weekend. Although I did get to have my favorite pizza, which is amazing, even though I could only eat cheese pizza. <sighs> cheese pizza is really, really good sometimes. And you just got to be thankful that you could have cheese pizza, right? <laughs> what is a food that you used to be able to eat, but you can't eat it anymore? Let me know in the comments down below. What is a food that you super, super miss, but unfortunately you can't have it anymore? The only reason why I only have a cheese pizza is because I can't eat um, pork. Um, and so I really don't like to eat it either. So uh, I miss having pepperoni because back in the day, I used to love me a pepperoni pizza. But um, after not being able to eat pork and um, I just really don't miss it anymore. But anywho, so it is Magical Monday. I like to start the week off with some Disney magic. And today I'm going to share something with you guys that I posted on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago. But I wanted to put it on the show because it's so super, super adorable. And it is Disney. And you guys know how much I love Disney. So I'm going to share with you my <gasps> baby plush of Bo Peep. Oh, look at how cute. Bo Peep, of course, is from the Toy Story franchise. And she is adorable. And I just love that there's Bo Peep stuff now. And um, it's amazing. I, I love my Bo Peep collection. How about you? Do you guys have a Bo Peep collection? I love my Bo Peep collection. And I loved her in Toy Story 4. And when I seen this little cutie, she is made for Disney Baby. So it's a line of plushes for your little baby. Because, you know, if you have a Disney baby or you're a Disney parent and you want a Disney baby and you're expecting a Disney baby, then you um, have this sweet, soft baby plush to add to your Disney Babies collection. And if you're just a Disney fan like myself, as if you couldn't tell, <laughs> then you just want to add this cutie to your collection because she's super adorable. Um, and the crazy thing is I found her at a place that I would never expect to find a Disney plush. <laughs> um, but I found her while I was grocery shopping in Safeway of all places, right? So they had this cute little stand and inside the stand was her, baby Buzz, baby Woody, baby um, Jesse, and then baby um, Minnie and Mickey. And so I got Bo Peep because I'm a huge Bo Peep fan out of all Toy Story, except for uh, Jesse. I do love Jesse. Who am I kidding? I love them all. But Bo Peep, it's rare that there's Bo Peep stuff. So I was like, I'm getting her. And so I brought her home and then I went back to get Jesse and they were gone. I couldn't believe like the whole shelf was gone. I guess people really, really love these and thought they were super adorable. Of course they are. So let me share her with you. So she has her big giant bonnet on. It is super, super adorable. You could see her little hair in the back sticking out from underneath it, her curls. And then she's wearing her Bo Peep outfit from Toy Story 1, I believe. 
and um, it has the polka dots around it. It's nice and soft. She has this nice little thin overlay on the top. It's a pink um, little overlay and it's kind of, it's really soft like ribbon and it's adorable. And then of course her little top, she has her little corset stitching up here, her little half smile. She's so cute. And then underneath her dress, which I thought was cool, she has crinoline underneath to make her dress poof out a little bit, which is adorable as well. It is um, sewed to her dress, so it's not loose or anything. And then she has these nice little, um, I'm going to say they're baby blue leggings on. And these cute little Mary Janes. Look at them, you guys. They're so adorable, right? And then she has white socks on underneath. So cute. So cute. And the straps aren't sewn onto her leg, but you can't take the shoe off, of course, because it's not meant to be removed because it's a little plush for a little tiny baby. And she has a hook on top of her head if you want to hang her up as well. They weren't hung up in the store. They were sitting down on like a shelf because you can sit her down as well. You could put her in um, on top of your child's bed or on top of your bed or in your little baby's crib. So super, super adorbs. I'm just sad I didn't get to get Jessie. Um, I have never seen these anywhere else. So I don't know if they're available at Target or Walmart. Um, because I've never seen them there. I've owned, like I said, I've seen them at a random Safeway, <laughs> which was totally cool. And I, I just ran into the, um, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I ran into the display. I, I like turned around because I remembered I needed something and I ran into the display or else I would have never seen them. And there they were. I was like, ah, oh my goodness, I need these in my life. Cause you know, I'm Disney crazy. Um, and she was super, super cute. I only wish that they would have made the Disney princesses like this because I could use an Ariel. But at the same time, I'm super happy that it wasn't Disney princess stuff because it was plushes of other Disney characters. And we all know how super popular the princesses are. So it was really, really nice to see the Toy Story crew there and then Minnie and Mickey. Super Super cute, right? But the only reason I didn't get the Mickey and Mickey or was were excited about them is because I have a lot of Mickey and Minnie plush from Disneyland. And so I'm trying not to buy so much Mickey and Minnie plush because it can get crazy and out of hand. And some people have really fabulous Mickey Mouse collections and Minnie Mouse collections, but that's the only thing they collect. So it looks super cool. And unfortunately, that's not the only thing I collect. <laughs> Or else I would probably have the room to put it in there. So what do you guys think? Do you think she's cute? She, I can't remember how much she was. Or else I would tell you guys. But she wasn't too expensive at all. I just can't remember how much she was. Um, she wasn't too expensive because I wouldn't have bought her because she is a tiny, well, she's not tiny. She's a good size, but she's a plush. And sometimes I don't like to spend huge amounts of money on Disney plush. I don't even like to spend huge amounts of money on too much of anything. <laughs> I mean, a one-time purchase, like if it's a bulk purchase or you're getting like different, um, a collection of something, then it's a little different. But to pay oodles and poodles and goodles of money for one thing kind of drives me crazy a little bit. But she is super cute. She is adorable. And I think she is perfect for your Toy Story collection. And she makes a great gift, maybe at a baby shower, if you know a Toy Story fan or a Disney fan who is having a baby. You could include this in the gift. How cute would that be? Or... You could just buy it for yourself like I did <laughs> to add to your Disney collection. And she is super, super sweet and adorable. Don't you guys just love her? She's a little tiny cutie Bo Peep. Anywho. So there you guys go. This has been my Magical Monday show. This is from Disney Baby. She is a tiny baby Bo Peep plush. And she is super, super cute. And I just had to put her on Magical Monday. Um... I know everybody's frozen obsessed right now, but I'm trying to keep it slow to a minimum. <laughs> um, and I thought about doing something uh, for Frozen today, but um, I, I, I didn't want to do it. 
um, because I kind of want to breathe a little bit because I noticed that I'm getting like frozen obsessed and I don't want it to completely take over because yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Please remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous baby Bo Peep world, you guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday's show. Bye-bye, guys.